a three in the natural language processing series so in this particular this video is especially for the what type of library we are going to use in the nlp so before starting directly jumping into the coding part you should must understand which particular library you should use for the beginner and which particular you will use for the whenever you will go for you are just developing some application that for the production okay so which type of library so basically we will see today four type of different type of libraries so we will import again and how to install that particular library again i will just show you in this particular video okay so i will just start with the nlp libraries the first library is a nltk okay so natural language toolkit is it is a basically it is the most famous library of the natural language processing you can just say if you are just beginner in the nlp then you must first of all you should start with the nltk library okay it is really useful for the educational purpose we are just using nltk library even in the research field okay so those scientists those who are just doing the research they are using the nltk library but this particular library it is not used for the production application it is not it is genuinely not used for the production application however it is really easy library where if you want to solve a very complex problem or complex thing you want to do you want to pre-processing or you are what you want to do with the help of nlp library you can just use you can just use directly nltk okay for that it is right it is okay okay for that you can just use nltk library but it's fail on the particular on the production based application okay so it is not uh, it is quite complex and for the heavy application it is quite giving it is not giving a good accuracy you can have to do so many things okay doing the product whenever you are just launching some product okay so the second type of library is the spacey library spacey library is the one of the most famous library and it is only only use whenever you are just uh, whenever you are just developing some application and you want to develop that particular application for the production base okay you want to develop that particular application for the production ready so you can just use that spacey library okay so it 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 is type of library here it is only focusing on that particular production uses okay so that's why spacey library is uh, you can just say it is way famous than nltk whenever you are dealing with the production based but whenever you are very beginner in this nltk or natural language processing you must start with the natural language toolkit library this is the this library and from this library you will able to understand how the nlp they are just using different type of concept okay with the help of nltk and there is a third type of library that is agency library so even this type of library it is only based it is only used for the topic modeling and similarity detection what does it mean whenever the two words whether the two words is has the similar meaning or not you can just think an example like uh, you can just say about the similarity detection like uh, if you are just dealing with the particular news if that particular news is uh, going for the sports and other other news also coming that particular news is whether it is for the sports or whether it is the educational or the whether it is for the politics okay so that type of similarity detection it can be done with the gensim library okay so i don't think so you will have doubt in this particular libraries in the nlp okay there are four the four type is the text blob text blob it, uh, is you can just say it's a really really new library even it is a totally based on the python library it is usually designed for the all the textual data you can just use for the textual blob. but uh, for if you are you totally beginner okay? if you are started then just stick with the nltk so in this particular whole series okay we will use NLT natural language processing and also we will sue the spacey. If you are doing this two library and you are expert in this two library, then you don't have to look for other libraries. Okay. So Gensim library only whenever you will use for the topic modeling and the similarity detection that again, we will talk in the later video, what are they and even we will do the problem in this. Okay. okay? So I don't think so. You will have doubt in the Gensim library or uh, NLTK or spacey. Okay. If you want to import this thing, how you will do this one? So just directly write if you are uh, the first of all, if you don't have the uh, if you, if your particular system does not contain the NLTK library. Okay, so you can just directly install pip. You can just write pip install yeah, NLTK. Okay, that's it. You can just write NLTK. So whenever you will run this one I, I, in my uh, particular uh, in this my configuration file, it is already has been installed. Okay. So it will just give it will just give me that it is all required already has been confirmed. Okay, you no need to do this one. So if you want to import this in this particular library, you want to import. So it's here the kernel it is connecting. So it yeah it's connected. Now it will run. 
so hope so see requirement already satisfied so this particular library already has been installed in my system so no need to do and uh, even if you want to import this particular library what you will just write import analytic okay so there are various kind of thing we can just do with the help of NLTK library so we will see in the next video or coming video how we are we are using NLTK library to solve many type of problems okay we would like text preprocessing step or text normalization step that what we can just solve with the help of NLTK okay you can just run and then after the second library was related to the basically the second library was spacey library okay so how you can just import you can first of all if your system does not contain the spacey library you can just install with the help of pimp install spacey okay you can do this one but if you are installing in the anaconda uh, navigator or if you are just installing in the conda uh, directory you can just see environment so you can just write conda install spacey okay so i don't think so you have dot that so you can just run this command in the already in the particular uh, cmd command prompt and you can just you will get some output okay so in my system it is already has been installed so required already has been satisfied so no need to do this one for me okay so if you want to import this spacey library what you can just write spacey just read okay so required or uh, you can just see it already been run i'm just seeing you how to install this particular library and how to import that particular library but again we will think of how we will do that about how you can just explore more in this particular library okay so now the third third thing i think is the gensim library it's it also is the same if you are installing this thing in the particular pp environment like if you are not if you want to install in the con with the help of conda like in a conda navigator just go to there and just write conda install spacey okay or here we will install first of all we install gensim okay because now we already done this with the two library which there is the last one in the gensim library okay so we can just do this one run this one so yeah it is already required required already satisfied because this particular library is also present in my system already we i have just installed okay so now you, if you want to import this thing this library then just write gensim that's it okay and then last is the text blob okay so text blob even you can just write before installing just write pip install text blob okay just run this one so again it's saying that required already satisfied just import this library text blob okay so i don't think so you have dot in this so basically what only uh, what this video is for how to install this particular library and how to import that particular library and what library you are going to use okay so basically you are only you want you will be focus on the nltk mode because natural language toolkit is a basically the you can just say whenever you are just starting any uh, uh whenever you are just dealing with the natural language processing uh, and you want to do programming with the help of nlp to pre-processing that particular your text data and uh, pre and normalize that particular the text data you can just use directly nltk library it will give you the good accuracy okay but when Whenever you'd want to develop for uh, any application, okay, for the production bit you want to build, okay, then in that case you, NLTK is a fail, okay. At that case, because it is quite uh, to make too much complex and to make too much uh, easier, and uh, you can just say higher level API. They the they have just discovered another library of the NLT uh, NLP that is the Spacey, okay. So Spacey only focus only to for the production based application, okay. So you can directly use for that Spacey. You can just use, okay. And Gensim and text blob it is another concept. If you are really concerned with the text uh, modeling and if you are really concerned with the similarity detection, then you can move to the Gensim library, okay. So text blob is really New, new library you can just say even it is uh, the scientists they are just discovering uh, and they are just managing this text blob is a python library that scientists they are already they are discovering and they are just researching on this various part of things okay the text blob is also you can just say it's like a new library and yeah so you can just even use this one also but most of them you can just start with the nltk then you can just move to the spacey if you are just able to complete these two library so you are done with the nlp parts okay so yeah, that's all for this video. Hope so. If you like our video, then please subscribe our channel. Thank you.